Hi guys and happy 12 days of Christmas. I was planning on doing, excuse me, um, okay. She's gotta be the center of attention if you can't see. So I was planning on doing Vlogmas, but to be honest, my life is just so busy. I have not been able to film every day. So instead of filming every day, I decided I would do Maddie Lou's 12 days of Christmas. So here we are. It is officially December 12th, which is my birthday. And I'm making my debut back on YouTube. It has been such a long time since I have sat down and filmed. And so as per usual, like the last 10 times I have tried to come back on YouTube um, consistently, I'm going to do a catch up on my life with me. Every single time I try to come back to YouTube, this is how I start out. And then I post the catch up with me and then I never return again. So here I am, 12 days of Christmas with Maddie Lou, 12 days of Vlogmas if you wanna call it that. Get out of the camera, silly. Sorry, I had to kick Malibu out. She is so much bigger than the last time you guys saw her and she's so much more needy, which I absolutely love. As I was saying, every time I try to come back to YouTube, I post a catch up with me and then I'm gone again for like ever and so there's like seven videos of me being like let's catch up on what's new in my life but then like nothing after that so 12 days of christmas with maddie lou kind of like you know abc's 12 days christmas abc's month of christmas and they play a christmas movie every day same thing with this except it's just gonna be 12 days of vlogs i'm not gonna promise that every single day is gonna be the most exciting thing you've ever watched but I hope that since I'm putting the effort and I'm coming back, that you guys have missed me just as much as I have missed you. Um, if you are one of my students and you're watching this video, click off and never return to this YouTube channel again because I will be absolutely mortified if you find me on here. But if you do find me on here, just spread some love, okay? Don't make fun of your cringy teacher. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get into day one of our 12 days of Christmas slash vlogmas slash let's just hang out. My trip to Arizona last spring break was like the last true vlog that I posted. A lot has changed since then. Like my entire lifestyle has changed. I'm in the middle of some really big life plans changing. I'm finally chasing after one of my biggest dreams in my entire life. And there should be hopefully more information coming about that soon. I, for example, go to the gym literally every single day now. Before I started on my fitness slash health journey recently, I think it was like beginning of June. I hadn't been to the gym consecutively since high school. And the only reason I went in high school was because I was a competitive cheerleader. And so I just like was not taking care of myself. I also completely cut out soft drinks. So like the whole Dr. Pepper thing, just completely cold turkey decided to, you know, just abandon it. And I have traded my caffeine addiction <laughs> to now I drink a Celsius literally every single day before I go to the gym. It's kind of like my little reward. I survive off of that and LaCroix. My diet has changed. My family and I started doing HelloFresh. So my diet has improved. I mean, the way I have felt just because of those three changes like is ridiculous. Like it's so crazy how something like that can change the way you feel so, so much. I mean, if you look back at that April video, towards the end of the video, you can see how terrible my skin was. That was the worst my skin had ever been in my entire life, like entire life. And as you can see, all I have on is mascara. Like that's it. My skin is not only like free of acne, my scars have diminished so quickly. My pores have shrank. My skin texture has completely changed and I've really, really devoted time and money into finding a skincare regimen that I really, really like. And hopefully I'll be sharing that soon as well. I absolutely love my job. I love my students this year. I feel like I'm gonna say that every single year. The longer time I spend with them, the more I'm like, you are like the coolest human and just like the most funniest person I've ever met. And I feel that way about all 120 of them. I have a new team at school. I'm in a leadership position. I feel like I am completely crushing that, which gives me a lot of, you know, like self-confidence and just like I'm proud of myself. Um, 
I started my master's program. I've been doing classes since the beginning of May. I'm in the middle of a class through my school as well that kind of like branches out to a local college and I'm taking a class on how to teach students who speak different language than English. So that's also really interesting. I feel like I'm continuously keeping my brain stimulated. I'm like getting my work ethic back up. I don't feel as lazy. And because of that change in my lifestyle, I'm able to do all of that. Like I'm not completely exhausted all the time. I redid my room everything I don't know if you can see a little sneak peek back there but I bought this incredible vintage furniture off of Facebook marketplace everything is white and cream it's so serene in here it's so just like peaceful and I really enjoy it what else is new I've also been loving to read recently ignore Malibu she thinks we're not allowed to have neighbors Colleen Hoover Emily Henry just that entire genre has been I'm so into it right now yeah I mean a lot of small changes have been made which makes me feel like a completely different person i'm still at home i'm still teaching at the same school still drive my jeep still spend way too much money on clothes but i feel like a completely different human in the best way there are going to be lots of big changes happening hopefully very soon i recently applied to Los Angeles United School District in the heart of LA in California. So I am hoping to hear back from them in regards to the interview process very soon. So please say prayers for me and send me well wishes on that. That is something that I have dreamed of doing since I first visited California when I was in college. And there was a while where I felt like I could never do that. Like that would never work for me. Like I will never be able to make that big of a move. And here I am just being like, I think I can do it. And I think that I can do it and live alone and love it and take Malibu and have a blast and meet incredible people and teach incredible students like I do right now. And you know, just live my life. I don't know how long I'll be there. I don't know if it'll be a forever thing or a two to five year thing, but I do know that I'm extremely excited and I'm excited to keep you guys updated with that process. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm just hoping that I end up where I'm supposed to be and that I'm able to see my dreams come to life in front of my face. I've been working really hard. I've been saving up so much money living at home and I just feel like it's the next step. So yeah, that that's, that's really the big announcement, the big change that's coming, the big dream that I'm chasing and I'm so thankful because I have the most supportive family and friends. Like all of my coworkers are just so encouraging and like so proud of me and my parents, of course, are like, we don't want you to be so far, but we're proud that we, you know, raise a daughter that's not afraid to chase her dreams. And my friends are just like, you're going to thrive out there. And it's just so refreshing to like feel so supported in something that doesn't feel or didn't feel realistic at a point in your life. So I'm excited to keep you guys updated. Um, I'm excited to do our 12 days of Christmas slash Vlogmas together. I'm excited just for life in general. I am about to be 24 today when you're watching this, which is really three days from now. And 24 feels like a great year to make some big changes. And that's exciting. It's scary. My parents have always told me comfort is good, but staying in something because you're comfortable is not. So it's time to not be comfortable anymore. That's all I have for you. So I guess I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I can't believe I'm back doing this. Like what is going on?